Hello friends, it's Jock's Girl, and I think it's like the 17th of November already. I haven't made a video for you guys in a while. So I'm going to show you just a very few things. This video will only be like a minute or two long. So if you blink, it'll be over. I, um, I'm in Utah, and I was going through some of my items, um, putting things away and like actually taking time and looking at some of the things that I have. Um, I know I've mentioned before, but in case you don't know or don't remember because it, you know, wasn't significant to really anything other than me and my life. When my great aunt had passed, um, she didn't have any children. And so I got to acquire much of her things and she took care of a lot of stuff and had a lot of stuff because whatever she wanted she bought whatever she needed she had and she was a crafter of many talents amazing things i didn't even know she did but because i promised to keep this short i just wanted to show you guys a few things that i found interesting in just one box that i was opening and i have never looked through it it's just i remember my mom saying here take this take this take this and i said okay 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 um Sadly enough, she did have a lot of cross-stitch stuff, and at that time, back in 2012, I wasn't cross-stitching. I had a young baby, and I was like, nope, 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 I don't need any more stuff. I'm just going to take the other things. And I'll, I kick myself every time I think about it because she had amazing treasures. She did not spare expense. She believed in doing the best with the finest. I was a fool. But I'm sure it went to somebody, you know, via the thrift store, and I'm sure they were pleased when they got what they got. Anyhow, it's November, and so this is the nurse that I have out for November. Um, I guess I could read it to you guys if you care. It says, Dear God, grant me a special understanding of all those entrusted in my care. To meet their needs, no matter how demanding, with skill and energy to spare, may I give each task my full devotion and always listen and bring cheer. With gentle, loving emotion, may I comfort others just being near. How sweet, huh? I've never read that. I'm a brat. <laughs> All right, so what did I want to show you guys? So one of the first things that I saw, and I'm not quite sure how this works. I believe it's for quilting. It's this, and it's made by Clover, and I think it's that same Clover that does the, um, oh, they're like the little charms. Let's see, I, I found mine, I lost it, and I thought it was gone forever, and I was devastated. Oh, well, maybe I can't find it. I'm looking, I'll show you guys, I'm looking in this bag here. I've got some knitting supplies in here. I'm trying to find it. Well, this is a poor video. There's my hand. Let's see if it's in here. I have not been knitting. I did, however, just finish. Oh, here it is. I did just, however, finish um, a headband I started a while back, a baby headband. I just haven't had any desire to do baby headbands. Um, this is what I'm talking about. This I love. My great aunt left a few of these behind and made in Japan, you can wear it on a necklace. I suppose you could make a fob and put it, put a fob, but anyhow, um, these are nice. Clover, made in Japan, I don't know if I already said that. And some of you probably know, and those of you who don't know yet, you can see inside there, there's little cutters. I love it. This gets so nice and close and cuts very well. I don't know if I've showed you guys this before or not, but. I love this thing. Like, like I'm saying, like I get in on the work and I'll get super close and then just cut my thread like I didn't like flat against it and it gets it nice and close. Anyway, they also made this just by putting two and two together. And I think you use it for quilting because it says quilt dome. I don't really know what you use it for but one-handed <laughs> so you take the cover off and inside there's needles and my aunt had threads on them 
And I kind of hate to take it apart because it says to, it says open and you would probably put like, you know, something flat in there like maybe a nickel or a quarter and twist it. But I, I kind of don't want to do that, at least not yet. But you can see there's needles are in here. And they had different color threads. So I don't know if there's thread in here or not because I don't know, I really don't know how to work this and I want to find out first how to do it before I mess it up. And it looks like you could cut maybe with here or maybe in here somehow. If any of you know anything about this and can give me ideas on how it works, I would be gratefully appreciate it. Oh, and then also this thing turns. So I don't know what it's doing. I don't want to mess it up, like I said, because the things my family left behind me to me are special. Wow, this is already over six minutes long. I didn't expect it to be this long. Okay, so most of you guys know Snag Nabbit, and I picked this one up at the thrift store for like a dollar, I think, yeah. I really don't have any plans to use it, but I was thinking since many of you talk about the Snag Nabbit, I had to have it. I had to grab it, snag nab it. Look what I have found in my great aunt's box. Snag away. At first I thought it, when I first looked at it, I thought, oh, it's probably to make the corners, you know, get those perfect corners, but I guess you could, or maybe use this end to poke things. But, okay, I'm holding the phone in my hands. Let's see, you twist it. So I'm twisting this little end here. And when you do, out on the end comes a little, well, I doesn't wanna focus on this, but maybe, there we go. Out comes a little snag nabbit guy. Isn't that cute? I wonder if they still make snag away or did snag nab it. Look at that. Perfect, right? And so there I am, just twisting it and it goes back into its little cave. Pretty clever. I don't, it doesn't have a maker's name on there. So I don't know. Might be able to Google it, find it maybe on eBay or something if you were curious. Um, she had some thread heaven and it looks like the patent was pending back in the day. Let's see, it says it on here somewhere, patent pending. So I don't know how old this one is. Um, you see the star and all that. My great aunt was very meticulous about the things that she had and owned. So I opened it up and I found this glitter in there. Like I said, she was meticulous, so I don't think that she would have been clumsy and dropped glitter in it or on it or, so I'm wondering, did glitter come in it back in the day? I don't know. So, if anybody knows and you care to comment, I would love to know. I hope I didn't cover up my volume. Last thing I wanna share with you guys, I don't know if I've showed you before, this is, I can't remember, I think this was in my grandmother's things, and I've been using it as my pin cushion, I love it. I. I have been doing so much better with not losing my needles by having this to the, to the side of me. So I keep my needles in the little needle case and then when I'm working, I have this out. And this one here, this pin, I use it as a counting pin and a dear sweet lady in Canada by the name of Peggy at JP Peggy 2 who is an amazing crafter and card maker. She sent this to me a long time ago so I kept it in a special place and then I thought, you know, it'll look beautiful on here and I can use it as a counting pin. And so there's that. Well, I hope you guys enjoy this little video. Maybe you see some things in here that bring back memories for all of us vintage women and maybe inspire some others to look up other things or I don't know. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Happy Thanksgiving.
बाय